Peace. What's up? It's the main event, Hip Hop Bandless, best podcast for hip hop. So everybody knows by now, I love 1988. It's the best year ever in hip hop. I'm always going to say that. But I like to compare different years. So this is the fourth installment on the 88 vs. Everybody series. This year, we have 96. Now, 96 has some bangers. We got Jay Z, The Roots, Busta Rhymes, Nas, Outkast, Mob Deep, Dale Our Soul, Red Man, Muddy Waters, Tupac Drop Two Albums, The Roots, The Fugees, Health the Skelter, Ghostface Killer, Bahamadia, Ghetto Boys, OGC, the list goes on and on. The Jeeps, The Leps, Coops. Now, 88, the nine albums I love bringing up. Kane's first album, Run DMC, Biz Markie, Eric B. Rockem, EPMD Strictly Business, Boogie Down Productions by Any Means Necessary, Slick Rick, The Great Adventures of Slick Rick, NWA, Straight Outta Compton, and Public Enemy, which, which I say is the best album of all time in hip hop. We could debate about that. No. But I like to take them nine albums versus another nine albums in other years. So I came out with Kane vs. Jay Z, Run DMC, even vs. The Roots, Mob Deep, Outkast, De La Soul, we flip it. Miss Marky, take the hits with Busta Rhymes, The Lost Boys, because I'm talking about also hits, the talking about album wise, because Busta Rhymes, Woo was shit, was crazy. Lost Boys, first album had crazy fucking hits. Can't forget BDP, go, they can go against Outkast or Mob Deep. Or De La Soul, Red Man vs. Slick Rick, or Slick Rick vs. Ghostface Killer, NWA, excuse me, NWA vs. Tupac, All Eyes on Me, Public Enemy vs. The Roots, or The Fugees, or any other um, group you want to throw against them. They can't feel like say Helter Skelter, The Roz Cars, Bahamadia. So I don't have MC Light vs. Little Kim. Can't forget Kid in Place or Mix a Lot, Salt and Pepper, Too Short, Three Times Dope, Tough Crew, Dougie Fresh. Audio 2, Top Billy, Fresh Prince, JJ Fat, Tough Crew, all that's 88. But we can't forget, like I said, Buster Rhymes, Lost Boys, Muhammad D, let's see again, Ghetto Boys, De La Soul, Muddy Waters, Tupac dropped two albums that year, matter of fact. Like I said, The Roots, The Fugees, Fugees went diamond with that. The Roots, once again, Jay Z, Nas was written. You can have Nas vs. Kane, Nas vs. Rock him, Nas vs. BDP, Nas vs. NWA. You had an album vs. a lot of people. Or flip it. 80, 88 vs. 96. Very good competition. So 96 is right there. It's like 98. Like I said, it's the fourth installment. So far, I did 88 vs. 98, 94, and 93, 95 together. And this is the fourth installment of the 88 vs. Excuse me, 88 vs. Everybody series. The little game I like to play. You know, hip hop analysts like to break shit down to the fullest. So, this is a very good year, 96. 96 is a very good year. Because I was living in Georgia, and Outcast was the shit. Like when I had that mob deep, that De La Soul, visiting me back and forth to New York, Georgia. That's all the shit that was playing in Georgia, all that shit on the radio, same shit played in New York. Because it was like, it was that, that good, that's good hip hop right there. That was that shit right there. So, I'll say real quick, I think from 88 to about, from 88 to 98, that was the best era right there. It was all good albums, excuse me, after them years. But them, them 10 years right there, crack. Crack. Straight up crack. Slick, like I said, you gotta have Slick Rick vs. Red Man or Ghostface Killer. Can't forget Two Live Crew, Ultramatic MCs. Can't forget the Jungle Brothers. Come on. Girl, I house you. Once again, three times dope. Funky Dividends. Oh, that's 88. Like I said, 88 was a crazy year, too. With the Kid and Play, the Salt and Pepper, the Two Shot, the Sir Mix a Lot, the Two Live Crew, Posse Going Broadway. Oh, that was 88. But like I so said, you got the bangers, though, with the Rock Hams, the BDPs, the Slick Rick, EPMD's first album, Strictly Business. Priceless. That's hip hop at its finest. That's all I was talking about 88. Now, for those who did not see the 88 podcast, please go check that out. Did it last year. It's crazy. And honestly, that's my longest podcast I ever did. But I'll break down more, like I said, than just the, 
the albums. 88 was, was especially also in sports, movies. Let's go check it out. It's in the catalog. Let's go back and check it out. That's all. Like I said, it's the fourth installment, 88 verse 96. I don't talk too much. So, like I said, can't forget Roz Cars. Like I said, Bahamadia. Also, 88, the Ghetto Boys came out with an album without Scarface. That's before Scarface joined the group. There's a fun factor for you. So I'm just saying, 88, 96, very good competition. They right there. I thought 98 was, 98's right there also. But 96 is also part of my top five, uh, top years of hip hop. 96 is right here. I'm like, damn, you got the Buster, you got the Red Man, the Tupac, two albums, Roots, Fuji's, helped the scope with the underground shit. Luke Kim was hot, Lost Boys, Mob Deep, damn. But, like I said, 88, to dance, you got to Rob, Rob Basic takes two to get any dance floor popping right now. You play this shit right now, motherfuckers is dancing. But you, now, what people dancing first? Wuha or It Takes Two? Hmm, probably Wuha, but that's a good one. If you dance to Wuha first or It Takes Two? Damn. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, we got those cakes. Like I said, audio two top billing, gangster hit. It's hip hop, man. That's all I love about hip hop. I love breaking down top fives, shit like this. And just in general, thanks for all the topics. Thanks for all the people out there giving me my support. Now, real quick, big up to my man Bars Nice, my man Chris Turk, and my DJ Storm killing shit on YouTube right now. So, peace. It's the main event, the hip hop analyst on the best podcast for hip hop. Just talking shift. Stay in tune to the best podcast. Peace out. Hope you're having fun out there. I hope you like this quick hip hop fix. Hip hop is turning 50, it's right around the corner. So like I said, all you gotta do is yo. Stay in tune. Peace.